Hi, I'm Dan Kane and Platform Outbound Product Manager. And uh, in this video, we're going to answer the question, what is KPI Composer? Now, keep in mind that there is there, there is some good online resources, uh, so a short training course and that that gets into more detail of how to use it. So in this, but in this session, we'll just talk briefly about what it is and how it can help you. So what it is, first and foremost, KPI Composer is as a, um, helps you map business goals to actionable KPIs. Uh, so in other, so for an example, in other videos, we discussed the purpose and optimal design strategy of using performance analytics. We focused on the importance of starting from a high level organizational goal and kind of working our way down into metrics or measurements that align with that goal, but are specific to different stakeholder personas. Um, so, uh, and what ultimately we're looking for are the inputs that help us create a, a better outcome of a process. That's ultimately what we're looking for. So one example we talked about in another video was net promoter score. So what are the inputs that go into net promoter score? Well, I could look at maybe first contact resolution that might improve net promoter score. Uh, mean time to resolve that might improve net promoter score. Um, you know, many other different types, uh, but we use, we might do analysis outside of performance analytics, maybe using the process optimization tools within the platform, maybe using a BI system to do uh, some really deep data analysis uh, of, of our records to see what are the, uh, what are the, the factors that most influence our net promoter score. But in performance analytics in the platform, we're going to, we can use KPI Composer to help us now visualize the, uh, the actual metrics we want to use and the alignment of those metrics and helps us plan for the development of them. So it can be leveraged, say, on new or existing performance analytics implementations. Technically, it doesn't even require performance analytics. You could use KPI Composer just as your design tool to develop metrics and dashboards that don't even have to be inside of the platform. So it is just it just it does tie in with the platform, so it gives you some of that nice additional functionality. So the output includes a task list for configuration. So what I get from this, and this example we kind of show here is, you know, we have our goal to be a trusted IT partner. We uh, and so we want to look at customer experience and service cost for you know, and and you notice each of these have little notations on them for things like uh, who are the stakeholders. So, you know, who are the different stakeholders? What are the different groups that uh, there are groupings that I might need for this particular metric? So do I need to, so for this metric, do I want to break it out by um, assignment group and priority? Uh, you know, that's it. So, and that's what the, the, that, so what I do during this, what I do is I use KPI Composer as a tool, as a design meeting tool. So when I sit down with, say I'm the customer service dashboard owner, I sit down with the customer service service owner or the service manager and say, you know, what are your primary metrics? And let's start mapping out what your metrics are. So you start from the top and map down. I can create this visual representation. I can take that a step further then with KPI Composer to then uh, I'm documenting. So what I'm doing now is I'm documenting the business requirements. I'm aligning the KPIs to actual goals and strategies. I design dashboards, so it actually gives me the option to put in to actually create some uh, mock-up dashboards. Very simple, but it still gives you the idea of the visualization of what it might look like on an actual dashboard. Uh, it also gives me a place to define the metrics themselves. So one of the big challenges that often come up against uh, with organizations is they have a metric they want to capture, but they can't figure out how to define it within the platform. What KPI Composer allows us to do is define from a business perspective what the goal is or what the you know, what the measurement is. So let's say if it's percentage of uh, cases that had knowledge articles applied to them, you know during during the first contact resolution process. Let's say so I want to have what's the percentage of that. So what I do is within KPI Composer I can write down what the business re, what the business meaning of that is, and I can write down things like okay I want to look at Every case that was opened at the level one, whether it's service desk, level one contact group, I want to, within those, I want to look at all the cases. I want to count the number of cases that included a reference to, I might have a checkbox or a box, a field on the form that says I referenced knowledge articles. 
or one or more knowledge articles. Then I want to say those are two different. So then what I want is I want to take the second metric, the number that defined that, you know, that touched the knowledge articles, divide it by the first metric, the total number of cases touched by level one and come up with a percentage. So that is why I'm actually defining that. So then when the builder who wants to build this, this metric out within the platform, they have all the instructions, exactly what it is that they need to do to create that particular metric. So that's, that's really some of the, some of the main benefits. We get that task list for the actual technical implementation. So what we're doing with this is, you know, we're setting these clear goals. We're investing time and in understanding the data because the data itself may not be present out of the box in the platform that you want. So KPI Composer can help us identify gaps where we might need to create new data fields. We might need to create a database view that doesn't exist today. We might need to create a business rule that populates a field that will give us all that information. And KPI Composer helps us identify those gaps and, and you know, they create generate tasks to help us fill those in. So that's a brief look at what is KPI Composer? As I mentioned, there is also some good online training around KPI Composer uh, that you can access from the community or from now learning. But otherwise, I hope that ha helped answer the question and I thank you for your time.